All right, everybody, quiet on the set. All right, we're live in five, four, three, two. Thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. A lot of you guys have suggested you want to see a door that can open up with a key, and I've got just the thing for you guys. This is what uh, we're going to create today. So this is the corridor that I made with the zombie. I just uh, removed the zombie for right now, just so that it doesn't scare me. And I've got this door, and I can't get through it. And I have a temporary looking key over here, and if I press E, I can pick up the key. And when I press E on this door now, it opens. So uh, let's get started. What we're going to have to do is create a door. I'm just going to use a cube, just for the sake of time. I'm just going to expand this out, shrink it a little bit here, just like so. That looks about the right size. Let's see here. And uh, move it up. All right. That's a good door. I like that door. Okay. And uh, now we're going to have to animate this door so that when we click on it, it opens. And go ahead and rename your cube door. And uh, create a new material. Before, Yeah, create a new material and name it door. Or you can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can even make it a texture so it has like a wooden door texture. I'm just going to do like a brown. Beautiful. Alright, it's a really ugly brown. Hang on, I can't live with that. Let's do a dark brown. Yeah, okay. So we have this. And, um... We have to add a, another box collider. So we have two. See how one's up here, and we have another one. Just go ahead and make this slightly big, like that. Just drag this out. That's, that's good. And make sure you set it to trigger, okay? So now click on your door, and you're going to go to Window, um, and you're going to click on Animation. Not Animator, Animation. Click on that, and your window will probably pop out like this. Go ahead and just click on the little clock animation thing and drag it down here. I like to keep it down here so it's nice and neat. You're going to click the little red record button, and it's going to say create a new animation for object door. Go ahead and just name this door open, just like that, and save. All right. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create an animation. So this is our timeline here, and the timeline is what makes up the animation. So we're going to start off, and we're going to create Add Curve, Transform, and Position. Okay, And this is going to be the course over one second long, our animation. So I'm going to go scroll on, click on up here, and scroll all the way over to one minute. And I'm going to click the Rotator tool. But I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. I can go up here too and manually change it to 90. Negative 90. Alright. Now I'm going to go back to my move tool. And I'm going to position it. Right about where I want it to end. The end position. So right about there. So this is the start and this is the end. And Unity automatically... Uh, transitions it. Now it does peer out a little bit there and uh, you can just tweak that to uh, your own likings. You know, you can come in here and add different frames so that it pops out like that so it doesn't necessarily stick out a ton. It's, it's really up to you. Um, so like right there, it kind of sticks out a little bit. I can extend it so it does like... That's good. I'm happy with that door. Alright, so now you're going to finish your animation by clicking the end record. And that's it. That's all the animation we have to do for the door. Now go back to your project. And um, now we have to create the key. So I'm going to make a key at the end of this hallway. So game object, create other. Uh, what should we make the key? I'll make it a... Um, a sphere? No. I'll... Yeah, sure, a sphere. So, obviously you can make your key whatever you want. I'm just doing a sphere, um, just for the fun of it. I'm not really sure why. And we'll place our sphere there, on the ground. 
And again, just like the door, we have to add component and I'm going to do a sphere collider and I'm going to make this slightly bigger so that it looks like that and make sure you set it to trigger as well. All right, I'm going to add, give it the, uh, or I'll just create a new material, why not? Create new material, name it key and uh, I'll make it like a blue. No, a green. All right, so we have a key, and um, you'll notice also in the assets you have a door and an open door. Oh wait, wait, wait. Ignore this one. Ignore that. That's from a previous attempt, I, I think. So if you click back on your door, you'll notice it has this animator, and it will have door. Just remove that component completely. You're going to add component and you're going to type in animation and it looks like a little red play button. Go ahead and add that. Then it's going to say animation none. And drag your door open and plop. Oh, drag your door? No. Door open. Why isn't that one on? Oh, I'm dragging it to the box collider. Duh. Okay. Drag it to animation. I was dragging it up there. Drag it to animation. And uh, make sure you uncheck play automatically. Okay? Now, if you were to run this right now, absolutely nothing would happen. We have to add some scripts. And I've already taken the time to write the scripts. You need two. Key and door. We'll start with door. So create door.javascript. And this is what the code looks like. And I'm just going to briefly explain it right here. So you're saying, um, when the player comes into the collider door equals true and when they exit that collider door equals false so remember when we created this little like out box that's what the collider is remember we is trigger it's a box collider so we did that um and then it's saying if you press e so if key down e and door equals true and key equals false game object find door and play the animation door open make sure this is the same name as your animation and make sure door is the same name as your door here so this and this need to match that now we go over to our key or we can go ahead and add that door javascript onto it and you'll see two things pop up door clip and key so again, you're going to have to drag the door animation there, and uh, the key we'll add in a second. So if we click on this, make sure we name the sphere key, and we're going to add the script key script. Now all these scripts can be found on my website, link in the description, um, and this is what this does. It's basically saying, again, on the collider, if your player um, enters the collider, set it to true, if not set it to false. And if you are in the collider, if you press E and player is next to key, then it equals true and the key dot active equals true. So if we add the key to our key, the key script add to our key, it'll say the key. <laughs> Go ahead and just drag the key onto the key. It's a little confusing, but it, it makes sense. It's a little, yeah, it just makes sense. So you drag the key script onto the key and then you drag make sure that the key script knows what the key is now go back to the door and drag the key onto the key <laughs> i should have named these differently but you guys get it and now if we plus press play and uh we walk down our corridor you'll notice if we press e on our door nothing happens we need the key to open the door so we come over here we press e the ball disappears and we can come back over here to our door and press E and nothing happens. It's because we get an error. What's it say? The animation do state door open could not be played because it cannot be found. Um, why could it not be found? It's right here. Oh, I had this dumb bug earlier too. Um, what I had to do is I had to recreate the animation for the door. 
I'm not sure why, but it, uh, it was not happy with it. So, I'm not sure why you have to do this, or why I have to do this. But if you just recreate it quickly, it should be fine, I believe. Pull this up here. That's a good enough door for me. Alright, and save project. Door open. Add that to there. Door clip. Add that to there. Should work now. Sorry about this, guys. I didn't fully test out this hole. Um, didn't fully test this out and get all the kinks out of it. Alright, so there we go. I'm not sure why you have to recreate the animation or why I did, but um, if you have that problem, just recreate it. So, yeah, but that works. The key opens the door, and you can't open the door without the key. So that's all the time I have for today, guys. I really appreciate the feedback you've been leaving. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I love new subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.